Hey kids, let's keep going with the regulars. We've got a question about IMCs. Now keep in mind your IMC codes, your injection molding codes, are an indicator of what factory things were manufactured in. Uh, so it started to get a little confusing when there was more than one factory. Here's an Austria from, what is that? That's a 2.6. And you can see there's an IMC code of two up there. All right, so that's the second factory that goes into place. Uh, they, now, there are a number of these out there, but then there's concern that, hey, maybe these aren't legitimate. Do we have proof that these aren't just stem swaps? So again, we're looking at a collection of over 200 uh, regulars, uh, and if we you know, start to eliminate some of the, the newer ones, of course, they're going to have IMC codes. We're talking about you know, the retro regulars and the regular Bs. And so if you don't know what that means, check out the video a little bit earlier in this playlist called Pez Detailed Overview of Regulars. It's episode three of the regular series. That'll tell you what I'm talking about with retros and Bs. In the meantime, let's just assume for a second, here we've got our plastic cap with the high thumb tab, and there's our IMC of two. And let's just see, are there more? Is this worth looking at? Here's an IMC of three. It's a 2.6 Austria three, which is somewhat rare in and of itself. It's, it's black with the white insert. Um, I've got the high thumb tab. Everything lines up nice. That looks legitimate. And here's another one that we just saw Jason Ulrich wrote at a comment to another video that this one uh, is one he's got, black with a white top with an IMC2, and here it is again. That is a, what is that? That's a 2.6 Austria 2. So we've got those. Are there more? Well, here's a personalized. And uh, this personalized has an IMC of two on the back. It's also a 2.6 Austria. And personalized, you start thinking, well, could this stem have come from something other than a regular? And the answer is no, not, not really. Uh, you know, this green with a blank stem, there are a couple of things out there with a blank stem, including the bride and groom, which we've already done a video on, and you know that those are gonna be a white or black stem. You've got the, uh, could be a psychedelic, but that would have been in the late 60s, and that's fine. Maybe we pulled it off and used it for this, but you're not going to see this green stem on those. Uh, you know, those stems are going to be usually a gray color, um, maybe some marble eyes going on under the sticker. And so it's really weird to find this kind of blank stem on anything else. You know, put that together with these, which still have the gold foil attached. Remember, I talked about this in another video. This gold came from this foil, and I'll flip it over, and sure enough, let's let it focus. There's the two IMC, also 2.6 regular, also a plastic hinge, and the whole nine yards. This one, I can't believe I've got two of these. Uh, same thing. Let's let the focus happen, and can you see it? No, of course you can't. Hold on. There it is. There's the two. It was fleeting but you saw it. There's a two in there. Uh, now, here it is in the cello. This is the same black and white with the plastic pin. There is the two. Here's the 2.6. And uh, we've got these cool candies with a Japanese insert and a German sticker. Can we get that? Can we see that? German writing on a white sticker on the super mint candy. A couple of collectors have these in their collection. This isn't certainly the only one. Now, here's some weird stuff. These are Yugo regulars. And to my knowledge, there are the three colors, blue, white, and, uh, sorry, blue, yellow, and red. And you can see the 2.6 Yugo with the half flowers. If you have questions about that, I'll do that in a different video. With the V, IMC. That's typical of the double half flower with a V IMC. The Yugo regulars are weird. The cap doesn't really close very well. That's it. And uh, it doesn't open very well. But uh, let's see, the yellow does not have the IMC, still Yugo. And the red has the same stuff and the V IMC here at the top. One thing I wanna show you on this, which is kind of fun, is, hold on. See if we can get this going. On the sleeve, 
Can you see? Let me zoom in for you. Whoop. Let's see if we can get that. You can see, there it is. See that it is white. It's molded into the plastic. It's raised. And it looks like mountains with uh, this weird insignia, an S-A. Now, I think that's P-Y-M-S-A, which word on the street is that it's a Yugoslavian plastic injection company. But if you Google P-Y-M-C-A, you'll actually find the S-A is a designation like we have here in the United States for Corp, Corporation, Inc., uh, but for Mexico. And P-Y-M stands for Plasticos E. I don't remember, something about machines. So it's an injection molding company in Mexico. So what is this? I don't know. But the point is, it's a regular, and it's got an IMC on it. And, uh, well, not this one, actually. The blues and the reds do. And that's it. So there's a bunch of stuff out there, regulars with IMC codes, just not a lot.